All right, YouTube, I got my latest eBay purchase uh, just delivered today. So uh, I figured I'd throw a little uh, video up here so you could see what I got. I got a uh, lot of pedals here. So I got uh, three pedals in the package, all MXR. Uh, one of them is the uh, Eddie Van Halen Signature Model Phase 90. It's a, a phaser, of course. We got the uh, Wild Overdrive, the Zach Wild Overdrive here. And then I got a, uh, a broken six-band graphic equalizer. So uh, this does not work. I got to mm, take it apart. We'll see if it's worth even doing anything with. But even even with the broken one in the middle of it, I got a good deal between the two of these. It was a lot less than if I bought them new. Uh, the main thing I wanted was this Eddie Van Halen Phase 90. I, I used to have one, but I accidentally fried it. Uh, so uh, And it was my own fault. It had nothing to do with the MXR quality. I plugged an AC adapter into it instead of a DC, and that is... Uh, that's a slaughter for a pedal. Don't do that. So take it from me. You will fry your pedal. So let me show you what this thing sounds like here. I will start with the uh, Phase 90. Uh, my guitar. I've got it on... Uh, let's get that into the view here so you can see. I got a uh, uh, kind of humbucker, single coil humbucker. And uh, you can see a little uh, toggle switch there between the two uh, knobs. So I got a volume, tone, you know, five-way pickup selector. And then a little toggle switch uh, takes a coil out for uh, both the neck pickup and the bridge pickup. So I, all I got to do is click that thing up, and then I've got a simulated single coil sound. It's you know it's not a strat, but uh, it's better than just hitting the humbuckers all the time. So uh, this is uh, me playing direct into an RP250. I have got a uh, like a simulated Fender Twin kind of sound going on. So it's just on the edge of overdrive there. All right, here's the humbucker. So you can hear like a little breakup going on. So now back to the single coil. All right, so that's what it sounds like without anything going on. So uh, these two pedals are right in front of the 250. I don't have any kind of effects loop or anything going on. They're just... Uh, Straight right in front of it, I got them uh, powered up with uh, one of these little, uh, one of these things called the uh, uh, one spot. So I got all my uh, pedals pedal uh, powered up with this one spot here. So uh, uh, these are true bypass, so I'm going to disconnect the power here. There's no battery in it. True bypass pedal. That's one way you can tell. You just pull the power out, and then uh, you got a signal through that. Then the battery uh, is not needed, or the power is not needed while it's going. Okay, so let's see what this sounds like. You got a cool little uh, blue light going on here. Uh, we'll turn it down to the lowest setting. That's kind of nifty. Let's turn it up to about, uh, that's about 10 o'clock. A little bit more of that uh, signature sound there. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, one thing I didn't talk about here is the script button on it. So what, uh, when you press it down, it's supposed to make it uh, sound like the uh, old school Eddie Van Halen uh, 19, I guess, 70s script. And basically what that does is when you press it down, it kind of takes out some of the mid-range in the pedal. So I am going to play it now with the, the script thing up. So you got all that mid-range stuff so you can hear it. So... Uh, here we go. Let's do it about 12 o'clock. Uh, same, same kind of chord thing. And now the uh, ridiculous, which you probably never use, but the 3 o'clock sound. Sounds like the kind of thing you play to, you know, like annoy your roommate or something. I, I don't know what musical use that has. So now, uh, you can see I just pressed down the little script button here, so now i got the mid-range removed. So now I'm going to play uh, that same thing again in the 12 o'clock. Okay, still kind of a rich sound, you just don't have that mid-range there. Okay. Now I'm going to do the humbucker in the bridge. And you can see that's a real unique sound. So this is uh, on, on the uh, manual for it. They say this is about the Van Halen sound. You know, the Van Halen 1 
uh, kind of thing. So here it is with a, a lot less distortion than he used, but you get the... Real kind of subtle. It's not uh, direct in your face kind of phasing, but... So, definitely that classic phase 90 sound, whether or not you use that script button or not. Uh, love it. Love it. So, I'm really happy with that part of the purchase. I'd be happy with that alone. But uh, this... This wild overdrive. Uh, I kind of thought to myself when I when I got the uh, the eBay transaction done, I was like, "Yeah, hey, I'll get rid of that thing on Craigslist. I don't, you know, I don't need another distortion pedal. I got enough." But I, I got to tell you, this thing is a lot of fun. It's uh, really interesting. Uh, it really is an overdrive pedal. So when you're using this guy, uh, you know, same deal. It's got a, a light here. You know, when you're using this guy, you need an amp that's already kind of distorted a little bit, and this thing just uh, kicks it over the top. I don't know if you're a big uh, Spinal Tap fan, have you ever seen that movie? But uh, this is the pedal that makes you go to 11. So, without talking about it a little more, let's uh, let's do it. So it's all about 12 o'clock right now, so you can hear what it sounds like. Uh, bridge pickup and the humbucker engaged. <laughs> all right, let's cut it off. Let's cut it in. Real rich sounding distortion. I really like it. Now, keep in mind, this thing is all at uh, 12 o'clock right now. So we got this little tone thing here. So let's cut the tone up a little bit, get a little bit more high end. Made the difference. Real, real sensitive knob. So well, I guess we got that around like 2 o'clock now. Real nice. Okay, so let's cut the gain up around uh, 3 o'clock here. So you hear that? Real subtle gain. The gain doesn't do a lot. If you can hear that, you can kind of hear it there in the decay. But the gain is not the key to this thing. The gain uh, does help out. Don't get me wrong, the gain's great, but the thing that really makes this thing do its magic is the output. So again, I got the output here on uh, 12 o'clock. So I'm going to hit a chord and listen to it as I turn it up to 3 o'clock. You know that richness it just added? So, real, real interesting pedal. Uh, and again, the output is what makes this thing do its magic. Uh, the gain, you know, you can keep it uh, 12 o'clock, it'd probably be pretty good. So, uh, without further ado, let's put them both together and see what we sound like here. So, uh, this is the uh, MXR with the, the script in, so it's got that kind of uh, mid range taken out, Eddie Van Halen 1 kind of sound. And then we got our. Uh, <coughs> MXR uh, Wild Overdrive, uh, overdriving my uh, simulated Fender amp here. So uh, let's do, uh, I don't know, some, some kind of Van Halen 1 kind of sound. Oh. Oh, my God. 
dialing that gain to about three o'clock. So. And one thing I'll tell you is uh, this thing with uh, a distorted amp or a simulated distorted amp, you really get the... Uh the harmonics really jump out on you. So I'm going to dial this back to uh, 12 o'clock. Oh, you know what? Hey, let's just, just for jollies here, let's, uh, I got both these maxed out, and then I got the tone. I'm going to dial it back. It's probably around 2 o'clock. So uh, you hear about the guitar uh, uh, giving off a little noise because I don't have a noise gate here, but here we go. <laughs> I hear that phase 90 on the finger tapping. Alright, let's get rid of that phase 90 so you can hear what it sounds like without the phase. Oh, So pretty raging there. So let's uh, let me adjust my uh, RP250. I'm going to get a uh, amp sim that's a little bit more distorted. So you hear the uh, difference here on what the uh, overdrive does when you have a, an amp that's uh, distorted more than uh, this. And you do hear the distortion there, but it's real uh, real light. Okay, so I switched the amps here to uh, more to me. Let me move this thing over so you can see a little better. All right, so here's my amp uh, without this guy's off. Uh, let's see if you can see the little light there. Uh, we're off. So it's uh, more distorted, a little bit more bass, a little bit more, a little bit more richness here. I think that's supposed to be a, like a, a Marshall amp uh, simulation like a Plexi 68 with uh, just a little bit of bite on it. And again, that's an RP250. Uh, it's an older model Digitech uh, modeling amp. So here we go. All right. Let's uh, get this <laughs> distortion a little bit back here. So we're at 3 o'clock here. So listen to this guy. <laughs> That is a monster. Let's dial the tone down a little bit. Tune. All right, so overall, I, I'm really happy with this wild overdrive. It's a lot of fun. Uh, so, you know, if you're looking for something to, not a distortion pedal, because you're going to have to have an amp that's already got some distortion going on, but good stuff. Uh, look forward to another video from me where I'm going to take these and put them in the RP1000 stomp loop and try to uh, identi identical uh, set up on the RP1000. So uh, see you later. Bye.